Okay, and welcome to, um, I don't know what I'm going to title these videos yet, but tutorials on using Open Mod Plug Tracker. Now, just a heads up, this isn't going to be basic stuff. This is going to cover the more advanced stuff because, well, there's a lot of videos out there already that cover the basics and the getting started, so there's really no point in I'm just reiterating what other people are saying. So, this video is going to cover installing VSTs and using them in Open Modplug Tracker. And I should really take bigger breaths before I speak. So here I have a bunch of VSTs that I've downloaded. So, you're either going to get an EXE file, which will install the VST, you just need to double click on it and it will install it wherever it installs it. Actually, I do suggest that you pay attention when it's installing. So you know where it's installing it, so you don't have to hunt for it afterwards, but sometimes that installer will be inside a zip file or something like that, so again, just do the same thing, just double click on it and run it, so that's pretty easy. Although some VSTs don't have an installer, like this organ plug in here. If, let's just take a look inside and see what we have. As you can see, there is no exe file to install it. What we have here is, we have this DLL file, which is the VST itself, and then there's other files that it needs, which contain things like samples and presets and stuff like that. And there's usually an instruction manual as well, which in this case is this text file. But sometimes those other files are in a separate folder. So if we have a look at this archive here, you can see we've got the VST. And then there's this folder that contains all the files it needs. And sometimes they just put everything into a folder, including the VST, like in this archive here. And sometimes, you might get an EXE file along with the DLL. Now, in this case, they're usually not the installer for the VST. Sometimes they are, but more often than not, what they actually are is a standalone of the VST. And you can run these standalone versions directly. You don't need to host them in any kind of DAW. But of course, the DLL version is the VST version, which you can host in the DAW of your choice. In my case... Mod plug tracker. Sometimes this is all you get. And you might be thinking, well, where are all the other files it needs? Well, it doesn't need them because everything is contained in that one DLL file in this case. Right, so now I showed you what you're up against. Let's see how to install these. Okay, so first thing what we're gonna do is close my web browser. And we're going to create a folder for all of these that don't have an installer. So, I'm going to go into my main C drive. Right, so, we'll just make a new folder. And I'm going to call this... Um, you don't have to put it in your main root drive, you can put it anywhere you want, but if you put it here, it's going to be easier to find. So, I'm just going to say... VSTs... Um, Stuff. There we go. VSTs and stuff. That's where I'm going to put it. The folder is empty, so we need to do something. Alright then. I'm going to move that over to the left, and I'm going to move that over to the right so we can see what we're doing. So, let's find one that doesn't have an installer. Let's see. Super 7, that doesn't have an installer. We have a folder in the zip file. And there's all the files. So... I'll go up one level, and I shall drag that folder into our new folder. Alright, so that should have everything in there, and it does. Right, so we got one VST in there. Let's put Redtron in there. So we got a folder there, and we got the DLL there, so, so I'm going to right-click on this, and drag it over while still holding the right mouse button down, and then extract to Redtron SE, or whatever it's called. And that should automatically create a folder with everything in it. Let's see, there we go. Right, and let's put in, I don't know, let's put in this one here, Uno 62 Now, all we've got in here is just a DLL file, so there's pointless making a folder for it since there's just one file in there, so let's open that again, and let's just drag that over. And finally, let's do this one. 
So you can see we have a folder here already, so we'll just drag that over, and there it is. Right, so how do we actually put these into Open Mod Plug Tracker? So, here we are in Open Mod Plug Tracker. Now I've put a couple of VSTs in here already, so let's add some more. So, one way you can do this is we go to Select and New Plugin. And now let's go to the folder where I put those plugins, which is VSTs and stuff. Let's put in Super 7. So, just go to the folder, click on the DLL file. And there it is. So let's see if it works. So we'll put this in FX01. And that should have automatically created a new instrument that has the VST in it. And indeed it has. So I'll just play a few chords here and let's make sure it's working. Of course it would help if I was actually showing the VST. Then you could see it's actually there. So yeah, there's a nice little synthesizer here. And of course you got all kinds of things you can adjust here, like your detuning. That sounds like a typical club instrument. I don't like that ridiculous detuning, it sounds horrible. Having it here though, that sounds kind of nice. Because, let's say you play a chord with it all the way up. It doesn't sound like anything. Right, let's turn the detuning down so it's not so ridiculous. And now it sounds nice. So that's one way to add a VST. Let's have a look at another way. So we'll go in here again, but this time we will go to Scan Folder. And I will go to the folder where I've got all those VSTs. I'll select VSTs and stuff, and then just click OK. And there we go. It's already done. It's found all those plugins and installed them. It even goes and checks all the subfolders to see if there's anything in there. And then, of course, that is all done. It's that simple. Now, in the next video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to actually use these and on how to use effects and things like that. And there's one other way to put VST plugins in. So, here I've got some other VST plugins. So let's put those in. Let's put in the bass guitar. All we need to do is just left-click on it and drag it into there. And it should be added. And there it is. So we can open that up. Have a little play with it. I've put it into FX01 again, so it still says Super 7, but uh, let's just take that name out because we've got a different plugin in there now. Here we are. Yeah, I'm no good playing live, but you get the point. Yeah, so I've gone ahead and added another couple of plugins that way. Um, let's just put in this one here and then we'll wrap up the video. And now we got our strings. And there you go, that's how you add VST plugins. Anyway, I'm sure I've yapped on in this video for like seven hours, so I've got to try and edit all that down, so until next time, goodbye.